Sports with Ron Futrell. Brought to you by the Desert Automotive Group and their 11 dealerships. Now, more complete coverage continues with Ron Futrell and News 13 Sports. Well, it looks like Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson are getting closer and closer all the time to mixing it up here in Las Vegas. Tyson, the former heavyweight champ, has a date in January to fight Ray Mercer, assuming he wins that fight. Then Tyson and Lewis would get together April 6th. Tyson's manager, Shelly Finkel, says that fight would most likely be here in Las Vegas. Both sides really want to make this fight happen. Lewis won the heavyweight titles by beating Haseem Rahman Saturday night and Mandalay Bay. One of the keys here is that Don King is not involved. Lewis or Tyson want nothing to do with King. Also, HBO and Showtime have agreed in principle to make this fight happen. Sometimes the toughest part is getting the cable networks to agree on a deal, and it looks like they have at least. Okay, even when you're Showtime, it's hard to have great highlights every single night. The Lakers have to slow down every once in a while. It doesn't mean they're going to lose. The Lakers just cruised their way to an easy win over Denver tonight. Lakers never trailed in the game. Kobe, 24 points, nice baseline jumper. Then the Nuggets throw the ball away on the inbounds pass. Kobe gets it, gives it to Rick Fox. Lakers won three more. They get it. Lakers win by 21. Nuggets played like they just didn't want to be there tonight, and the Lakers took advantage of it. The Rebels will be spending Thanksgiving on the road. They're leaving tomorrow for Cincinnati, where they have their first real big test of the season Saturday against the Bearcats. In New York tonight, Tark's 23rd-ranked Bulldogs going up against Wake Forest. The semifinals of the preseason NIT, a great basketball game tonight. Fresno State getting things going here. Jeff Fries with the breakaway, and how high can he jump? Yeah, pretty high. The Bulldogs trailed by 16 in the first half of the second half. They get their defense going. Fuller with a big block, and Fresno's big man Melvin Eli is down there at the other end waiting for the easy one. Fresno played some great defense in the second half to get back out of the game. Bulldogs by one, last chance for Wake Forest. And the rebound slam looks like a bit of a goal tin there, but when you're playing an ACC team on the East Coast and you're from the West, you ain't going to get the call. Wake Forest over Fresno State, 62-61. Bulldogs play Michigan State Saturday. The Rebel football team is thinking about next season, but before we close the book, Kevin Thomas has been named third team All-America by Football News. This is only the second time in UNLV history that a defensive player has been named to an All-America team. Thomas intercepted seven passes this season. He returned three of them for touchdowns. Those are the numbers, but bottom line, he's a great defensive back for the Rebels, and uh, we're going to hear from this guy playing on Sunday next year and beyond. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. That's it, and those were the moves, too, boy. Those were the nice moves, yes. Yeah. Okay, Ron, thanks a lot.